Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Stardew Valley 1.6 playthrough series. It is great to be here and I hope you're doing well folks. We are back on the farm. It is the 17th of summer, a nice Wednesday, and we have some work to do today. We have two primary goals to achieve. The first one being let's get the coop upgraded to the big coop, of course. The second being let's buy a pig. Let's add a pig to the ranks. Then we have some uh, secondary goals. You know, another one being, let's populate our fish pond that should be completed now. And let's just overall have a little bit of fun here today. We got 30 grand in the bank. Let's blow it all. Well, blow most of it anyways. So that is what we're doing here today, folks. And if you are enjoying the playthrough series here on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. We'd love to have you in the community. We have very happy spirits. That is a nice change of pace. Nice change of pace. But yeah, if you are enjoying this, uh, you know, please help a small channel out by becoming a subscriber. We'd love to have you. Thank you very much for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. All right. So first and foremost, obviously, let's let's get the old Luna machine watered up here. Let's get her loved up on. Good girl, Luna, sitting by her water dish. Nothing to recycle. Alright, we did score some mayonnaise there. That's a great score. And let's take care of our animal friends, of course. Let's grab the bucket, and... Noelle is still a baby, so cannot be milked quite yet. But that's alright. In due time. And we're getting some nice large milk from our cow friends here. Turn that into some fine cheese here. So go, my uh, animal friends. Enjoy the pasture. Enjoy the chewy blue grass. And chicken friends, you are just producing like champions now. Getting some iridium quality eggs, of course. So enjoy the fine day here. Alright, looking good there. Let's store away this egg, of course. Sell the mayonnaise. Looks like we have a hot pepper here. I believe there's a few open uh, field spots for some seeds as well. So let's plant some of these uh, flower seeds. Yeah, the, the flower seeds here. Yeah, there's a spot here, spot there. All right, looking good. Let's get this back where it belongs. Let's get our watering can back where it belongs. Let's sell the hot pepper here. Check the mushroom cave, and then we're off to Marnie's here. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's populate the sturgeon in the fish pond. Almost forgot. And then we're off to Marnie's. And I actually like the more minimalistic look here. Just a nice looking fish pond there. Might as well grab some uh, stone along the way here. And then a few other auxiliary things that we could do is, of course, we could look for the Dwarf Scroll. That's certainly an option. Um, we could try to gather some more stone because the coop is going to take a lot of it. Definitely another option there as well. So we have some things that we could do, but first and foremost, let's accomplish our primary goals. Let's get a pig to our ranks, of course. Let's get that coop upgraded. And just clean up around the farm in general here, of course, too. Can maybe even run by the secret woods and grab some uh, hardwood as well. Certainly a possibility, but let's get to Marnie. It always seems like she's gone when I when I try to get here and make a purchase. Looking for some supplies? No, Marnie. We are looking for some animals. So we're going to get a pig here, 16,000 gold. That is very expensive. But we need the pig because the pig is the catalyst for the truffle, of course. So we're going to name the pig Hampton because you just gotta. And little Hampton is going to her new home right away. Lovely. Thanks, Marnie. I see uh, Mayor Lewis's purple shorts there. You gotta wonder how those got there. So let's go to the secret woods, quickly get some hardwood, 
And then off to Robin's we go. I believe Robin's closes at 5 o'clock, so we have plenty of time yet. Let's get some more trees down. Just because, why not? Could always use the wood. I mean, we could also buy the resources from Robin. In year one, it's not so bad. But, of course, once the years increase on you, the price of raw materials goes up rapidly. Alright. What's up, slime? Get out of here. Alright, there's some good hardwood there. Let's juke out this slime. Yeah, he's got nothing. They tend to kind of hide in the wood lines. Sometimes there can be one like zeroing in on you and you don't even realize it. Alright, the hardwood is ours. So let's go down into the little alcove here. Get a few more. Alright, looking good. Now let's get to Robin's. I, I think by way of through town is probably the best way. Might have the opportunity to gift a few things to a few uh, lucky folks. A largemouth bass frenzy has begun in the mountains. Okay. So cancel that. The largemouth bass frenzy. I mean, that would be good to get in on. So let's see if we can take advantage of that. I'm definitely interested in that. So let's get there quickly. Alright, let's drop this stuff off here real quick. And let's go. Time is of the essence. Let's go. The largemouth bass are biting. We're all over this. Let's go to the mines. And we definitely have some time, so I think... Let's see if we can take advantage of this uh, feeding frenzy here first and foremost. And then like I said, I think Robin's closes at about 5, so... Let's try to catch as many of these as we can while they're biting, of course. Be a nice little income boost, especially after we spend it all. Try to get as many iridium quality largemouth that I can possibly get. Alright, largemouth. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna juke me out? Not enough. Alright, that one got me. Here's a treasure chest. Let's make sure we get this. Alright, looking good. And what do we have? Coal and... Amphibian fossil. Certainly take the coal. So I'm not sure if the uh, Fishing Frenzy event is something that's new in 1.6. I think it is. I could be wrong about that, but if you know, please do let me know in the comments. Is the Fishing Frenzy event something recently added in the 1.6 update? I mean, it's just a sensible, charming little event to add. I believe it's a random event. And I'm liking it. All right, looks like the frenzy is over. But we got plenty of largemouth bass here. And this is definitely not a largemouth bass. Nope, it is a chub. So how'd we do? We got six of them. That's not bad. 
be a good little boost in sales. Yeah, I don't think Maru likes the uh, common mushroom too much. All right, Robin, first and foremost, take this common mushroom. It might come in handy. Indeed, it might come in handy, especially when you are building our big coop here. If you're running low on energy, just pound down that mushroom given to you by yours truly. Let's get that coop upgraded. And you see the uh, the sorry state of our economic reserves here. Four grand. Not great. While I'm up here, let's pop into the mines here real quick. Um, I did a little research. We need the Dwarf Scroll level 4, right? And you can find that on any floor 80 or greater, right? Well, there's a floor at level 95 here that always has this uh, tillable soil. And that's actually a good spot to find artifacts. Namely, the uh, Dwarf Scroll 4, right? So let's just... Let's till this up. And let's see if maybe we can get it. Who knows? It's the remaining scroll that we need. And then once we have that, of course, we get access to a special character. You usually find some kind of artifacts in here. And then while in the mine, there's a few other fish that I'd like to catch. Hey, Magma Geode, certainly take that. Alright, a whole bunch of nothing it looks like, beyond the Magma Geode, of course. Alright, a whole bunch of nothing here. That's alright. Let's eat the field snack and let's drop it back down to floor 60. And fish the frigid waters of floor 60 here. So there's a few different fish you can catch on this floor here. There's one, obviously, in particular I'm seeking. And it's an actual fish, right? It's not algae, it's not some kind of plant species, it's an actual fish. So let's see if we can secure that fish on our line. And we have something here. Grab the treasure chest, this one is... Non-threatening enough. It's the ghost fish that is not the fish we were looking for. We got a sonar bobber. Okay. Certainly take that. So let's persist. Let's try it again. Alright, another hit here. And this has the markings of a ghost fish as well. Just not a very challenging fish to catch at all. of course when feeling down just uh, eat some cave carrots right just pound them down get that energy level back up so you can get right back to work All right, we have another hit here. Okay, so this is our target fish, and you look how frenetic this fish is. Frenetic is a great word for it, and this is, of course, the ice pit. A rare fish that thrives in extremely cold conditions. Very nice. That's what we were looking for, and we got one now. So let's go to floor 20. And again, there are two species of fish you can catch here. We're looking for one in particular. All 
And we got him here, folks. That is the stonefish. Deluxe bait and skeletal tail. So stonefish, a bizarre fish that's shaped like a brick. Very funny. Alright, so let's... So we could leave here. We could... Uh, yeah, why don't we leave... Chop down some trees. Looks like we got a grape over there. Maybe go grab that. Throw a few casts out that way. Definitely want to get back to the farm in time to give our pig a, a nice little pet. Welcome him to the farm. Hampton, or her to the farm, I should say. Get the barn doors closed, right? All that good stuff. Alright, how about you, man? Do you like mushrooms? Doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> Lost a lot there, of course. Lost it all there, my goodness. Talk about wasted energy. Alright, let's get a few casts in here. Soggy newspaper. Great. Wonder what was happening on the day the newspaper was printed. And this must be the carp. The fish that just catches itself. Indeed. Green algae. Got plenty of that today. Another carp. Alright, yeah. So this is proving to be just not worth my time. I don't think the mountain lake at nights during the summer is a very lucrative spot to fish. Especially after the uh, the sturgeon goes to bed for the day, right? So why don't we take the mountain trail on back? Maybe we can forge a few things. Certainly see. Hey, here's a spice berry right here. Very nice. Alright, so Hampton, you are welcome. Hampton is trying to sleep. So it looks like you cannot pet the animals after they're trying to sleep. Makes sense. Wouldn't want to wake you up anyways. We'll start with uh, find a relationship building tomorrow. Alright, so let's sell a few of these fish. Largemouth bass. Ghost fish can... I'm going to keep the stonefish and the ice pip. Got a chub as well. Make sure we get that sold. Alright, looking good. You don't have any mail, yeah. I'm definitely aware of that. Grab the watering can for the following morning. Let's drop some stuff off here. Get the artifacts dropped off. Can get those recycling. Uh, sonar bobber. What are we going to do with that? Throw it in here. The rest of the tackle. All right, let's get our lone egg here. Churning into mayonnaise, if you will. Let's get the broken CD recycling. And let's do some clearing out of the land. We have just a few 
Well, we've got less than two hours in the game left, which goes by very, very fast. Nobody's going to clean up the farm for me. You know what I'm saying? So, might as well do this while we have just a few spare hours here and there. Let's get these stones mined up. Got a stump here. Some hardwood. Got some moss. Very nice. And some more moss. Let's grab it. All right, let's head back. Let's get all tucked into the covers. All right, looking good. Let's call that a day. So, day 17 is a thing in the past. We do score three grand that day. Ghostfish just does not sell very good, does it? Largemouth bass, though. It sells very good. Cheese selling for three forty-five a pop. Very nice. Okay, so an overall productive day, right? We got the two things done that we wanted to. We got some of the auxiliary stuff done that we wanted to as well. Of course, we didn't find the dwarf scroll, but that's all right. Let's flick on the old tube. Looks like the bookseller is in town as well. So we have a thunderstorm approaching. Okay. And very displeased spirits. Man, who is upsetting these spirits? Here's a vegetable from the little garden. I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. So Caroline hooks us up with a parsnip. Thank you, Caroline. I do appreciate that. Let's keep that in our consumables chest here. Got some more hot peppers to harvest here. Very nice. Looks like we have a few sunflowers. We get the summer squash there. So we have a few more spaces for some seeds. So let's get those planted. Sunflower is a summer or fall plant. Okay, so we can actually just put these right back into the earth. All right, looking good. And how about the squash here? I believe this is new. Plus 88 energy. Wow. Okay. Well, that can certainly go in this chest here too. As far as the sunflower goes, I do believe that we have it. But let's just check here. So this would be the dye bundle. Yep, we have the sunflower turned in there. So it feels like something you should probably either gift or sell I think this round I'll just sell it let's get the Luna machine watered up here good girl Luna all right let's get the newspaper recycling and let's check on our animal friends All right, grab the bucket. How you doing, cows? Ruby's looking real happy today. Good to hear. Here's little Hampton. And Noel is, of course, still a baby. That'll be changing real soon. I do have a feeling. Whoops. Let me uh, get this bucket back. And have some fun, my animal friends. Robin is, of course, hard at work here. Getting our coop upgraded, and then we can start adding ducks, which of course are going to be necessary for a variety of reasons. We need the duck feather from Very Happy Ducks. And then of course we need the duck egg as well. Alright, looking good. Looking good.
All right, so let's sell the mayonnaise, and then as far as today goes, I mean, Thursday... There's been a lot of gifts going around. I mean, I think we've gifted a lot of the most important people here. Let's, let's take a look. Pretty much just people we've kind of passed across in our travels here. How about some artifacts for Gunther? That's looking pretty good. I know we have some geodes to process. Got the regular ones. 15 Omni geodes. I'm going to hold on to those for now because I do know that at some intervals, some fish will request some geodes as rewards for the fish pond, right? want to make sure that we have those in hand. Alright, looking good there. Alright, so let's go to Cinder Snap here quick. And then probably double back through town. I think going on up into the mine and trying for Dwarf Scroll 4 makes sense. And then we can, of course, take a look at just some fishing. Probably forge the beach. It's been a while since we've been down there, I do feel. I don't really think going to the bookseller really makes too much sense right now, given where our income is at. And I'd like to be in position to get the coop upgrading yet again as soon as it's built. So that means let's fish away and get some cash. Should be getting another blueberry harvest here relatively soon. Get owned, slime. All right, let's collect these remaining stumps. And of course, if you haven't figured it out by now that the secret woods here, it's a place where you can come daily to get hardwood, right? Those stumps regenerate as you I'm sure you've seen at many different intervals. And as long as you have the time to make it there and cut them down and the energy, of course, you can get hardwood every single day. And hardwood is not necessarily the most prudent thing early on in the game, but it does play a pretty big factor later on in the game for some of the more advanced buildings and structures. So it's good to have on hand. Alright, let's see. I think you like the mushroom, right? Is this a gift? Oh, nah, I'm guessing you probably don't like that too much. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any pretty flowers on me. Not this time. Mayor Lewis, what's up? Hey, you're very welcome, pal. I'm glad you appreciate it. Now, let me dig through the garbage. Don't tell anybody. Gus should be coming on out. Yeah, he is. Let's see what's on the food menu today. Let's play some Cloud Country. Gus is taking his sweet time. I mean... To get from his bedroom to the counter, to begin working, it takes him exactly 30 minutes. Gus, you just gotta move faster. Super meal. Plus one speed. Max energy. Wow. That's pretty incredible. I'm not gonna lie. He also sells this here coffee. Which makes you move fast, but the super meal for as cheap as it is, very nice. We'll take it. Alright, bookseller. 
I think we're good on that for now. Let's go up to the mine and let's do floor 95 again. Let's hoe up that ground and see if we can find something that... Well, let's see if we can find the dwarf scroll. That's ultimately what we're looking for. Maybe there's some big stones that we can mine out as well. We'll certainly see. Got two grapes there by Linus's tent. The Adventurer's Guild. I think they open at 2 o'clock. Maybe we'll hit that up on our way out of here. Don't think I've been there in a while. Alright. Got the powerful red slime here. I can just take a bunch of hits. Alright, let's go. Magma Geode. That's a good start. What else do we have? Clay. Certainly take it. Are we finding anything here today? How about some artifacts? War scroll, let's go. Where are you at? A whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, just calm down, slime. Just calm it down. It's gonna be all right. War scroll one, darn. Yeah, the one we're looking for has a nice little gold ribbon attached. Unfortunately, we just got the wrong one here today. Definitely something we can do a little more regularly. I would like to lock in the dwarf scroll. Get the translation guide right. But we're just... It, it has just avoided us so far. So this guy is going to give us the insect head. 20 through 30 plus 2 speed plus 2 crit chance. Okay. How does that compare to our current weapon? That's the question. Same damage. A little slower. Less knockback because it doesn't have the, the weights, but it does give plus 2 crit chance. Not very pleasant to wield. Well, yeah, it's an insect head. Interesting. Okay. And then what do you have for sale here? Cutlass. Templar's Blade. Bone Sword. Steel Falchion. Plus 4 speed. 20 crit power. Lava Katana. Wow, look at that damage. I think that's probably the weapon to have before... Even attempting. Skull Cavern. But nothing for us here right now. So let's go down to the beach. And sort of end our day there. But first and foremost, Linus, I know what you're doing up here. You got an illegal grape operation going on and I need to confiscate. I need to confiscate the whole operation. Nice juicy grapes. I mean, who doesn't like a nice grape? Alright, so down to the beach. Let's see if we can maybe find a few things to forage. Does this guy like... This is great, thanks, you bet. Shane's kind of got a bad attitude. He's like, what do you want, you know? This guy's all about health and fitness. I mean, cave carrot. Um, okay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome.
insect head. That's actually kind of funny. All right, what do we have? How about you? Do you want a cave carrot here, kid? This isn't very fun. Hmm, this is interesting. Yeah, people are not a fan of the cave carrots. That's really too bad. Thank you. You are welcome. Hey, looks like we got some worms here. Hey, it's a lost book. Very nice. Yeah, a whole bunch of coral down here. And might as well grab some seaweed too. All right, let's close out the day here on the dock. And look at this, we have the welcoming bubbles. Except for, this might be kind of hard to, yeah. That would have been a hard one. I mean, you can angle your, your casts, right? You just press left or right while you're casting. But that would have been a pretty sharp angle to, to try to get. Let's see if we can maybe secure a few uh, super cucumbers. Halibut are decent. And we can call it a win from there. So here we go. Here's a super cucumber for sure. Started off with quite the flurry. And another. We'll certainly take it. If we can secure the catch, that is. This guy's just bouncing all around. Couple of casts left here. And another cucumber here. This is this is very good stuff. These guys sell really good. All right, let's make sure we uh, replan the energy. All right, definitely not a super cucumber, right? Okay. In fact, that fish just uh, caught itself. Thanks, Halibut. Couple of field snacks down the old hatch and let's keep on rolling here. You know, I wouldn't mind a super cucumber frenzy, right? That'd be a good one to get in on. And we have another super cucumber here. It's going to make the efforts of the day worth it. All right, Super Cucumber in the old backpack. Let's go. Let's just keep on rolling here. Catching some fish, enjoying the fine ambient sounds of the ocean. All right, what do we have here? Definitely not a cucumber. Kind of feels like a halibut. And you bet. Alright, so we got the seaweed there. Certainly take it. Need it for a variety of things. You know, sushi, fish ponds, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, it's not even close, folks. If you are looking to make some cash by way of fishing in the summer, 
Just go to the ocean. Another cucumber, you bet. Be reeling that in all day. Got some bubbles over here. We're definitely all in on this. Broken glasses. Okay. Joji Cola, okay. More broken glasses, my goodness. Come on, game, let me take full advantage of this. All right, here we go. Cucumber, good start. Let's not lose it now. Let's go now. My goodness, this one is pretty aggressive. And then, as if it gets tired, right? Kind of gives up. Alright, we have a halibut. I want to peel out of here around midnight. But you got to take advantage of the bubbles for sure. Yet another halibut. Alright, last one. Let's end on a super cucumber here. Nope, we end on a seaweed. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, let's go. Got some things to do before bed here. Well, first off, let's make some cash, huh? Okay, looks good. Get the doors closed here. Robin, of course, still hammering away. That recycling. Just do kind of everything that we can here. And this might not be a good idea here. But we're going to try it anyways. And let's go. Let's get there. Going to be close. All right, we get there. Beautiful. All right, so that wraps up day 18 here. Let's see how we did. Scored another about seven grand. That's very nice. Nice little supplemental income. We'll be able to add a duck here as soon as that coop gets upgraded. And of course, we are just continuing to save up for the deluxe coop, which will be our next kind of big purchase, our next big target. So with that said, folks, I am going to uh, end the episode here. But I want to thank you for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. If you are enjoying the playthrough series here on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. We are just ca kind of casually going through this wonderful game. 
the wonderful 1.6. We are exploring things as they come, right? Some of the new stuff, some of the 1.6 stuff, right? So I'm not familiar with really any of the 1.6 stuff, so... An added bonus to the channel is... You know, you get some live reaction to some of the 1.6 features when we come across them. I.e. a big example of that is, of course, the Green Rain event, right? What a fun event that was. I wasn't really sure what to do or what it meant, right? But we figured it out right here on the channel. So like I said, folks, I'm going to cut the episode here. Once again, thank you so much. Please like the video if you're getting enjoyment out of the content. And if you're not subscribed, please consider becoming a subscriber. would really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye.